Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a quick look at Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, I haven't bought this game, uh, they're doing a free trial thingy at the moment. You can see it says remaining playtime 4 days 8 hours, so I thought I'd take a quick look while the trial's on and see if it's any good and worth buying or not worth buying. Pretty simple. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of, of tennis or Mario Tennis in general. I liked the Game Boy Color one because it was kind of a role-playing game and had a very little to do with the Mario characters in role-playing game mode, which was kind of funny. Um, we'll see if this one's similar. Well, it loaded real quick. That's cool. Um, alright, we've got a cutscene here. Oh, okay. <laughs> They've discovered some sort of hidden treasure, I guess. Yep, there we go. What is it? Are you really using subtitles for the... Okay. Okay, so they found a legendary tennis racket that's gonna make them win. But... There's only one, and there's two of them, yeah. Okay, so that's the plot. Greetings, Tennis Phantom of Marina Stadium. Marina? Is she here? I hope so. An awful team of Mario and Peach. Okay, so there seems to be a bit of a plot going on here, which is cool. Um, Oreo and Waluigi are covered in tinfoil now, so... So watch out for that. <laughs> you picked a winner. Oh, those are bandages? Okay. They're just really shiny bandages. It's a trap. Don't don't take it. No. Well, I guess it's cursed or something. Oh dear. Oh no, you got eaten by a whirlwind in the sky. Or whatever that is. Okay, so it's tennis, but there's an evil racket. Tornado, okay. A real life nightmare. Is that a thing rackets have? Is that what that, that was? Mm -hmm. I don't know enough about tennis. Yeah. Yeah. Is Basque a thing in tennis? Basque? Yeah. Oh no, it's an evil racket. was spelled CQ rather than CK. Yeah. 
Look at these themselves, they're very powerful. Also, their eyes are really creepy, look at that. It's scary. Yeah! I don't like the way they've done the eyes. Bring Luigi back safely. Yeah! Alright, so this is like, there's like an adventure mode, I guess, but you actually play as Mario. Oh, I'm moving on his own. Okay, so I can move between the spots like this. Uh, I guess I'll try going this way. Piranha Plant Forest. I guess I want to go to, to Basque, Basque, the ruins, so I want to go this way. I do have important business there, dry bones. Pretty please. <laughs> Convinced by those who can play tennis. It's very similar to the Puyo Puyo story, where it's just the most important thing in the world is this game. <laughs> okay, so we've got to play tennis with the dry bone. Let's do this. I haven't played any tennis in this game yet, so this is this is the first opportunity to try it out. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, that. Thank you. Thank thanks, Drybone. Give the ball a toss. Do I just press the A button? Yeah. After tossing, hitting the ball into the air to serve. Sure thing. Yeah, that, that's simple enough. Oh, the key is fetching the ball. That's cute. He's throwing you a bone. <laughs> Fifteen. Yay! Alright, you're as good at the tennis. Pretty easy, I guess it's the first tennis mode from the game, so they had to make it pretty easy. Honestly, there's motion controls, like as an optional thing. Because obviously I'm not using any motion controls, I'm just using the, the buttons like it's saying on screen. Plays like tennis because it's a tennis game. Game set and match Yay! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> you got a power racket. <laughs> going into the ruins. <laughs> just press the A button back on. <laughs> just sat on the wall. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh my god.
Okay, so it's giving me clues on what button to press, basically. It's just another tutorial, basically. Very interesting, I have to say. <laughs> but I mean, it's a tutorial, so I guess that's alright. Inside the temple, there is a. Um, looks like an eye, maybe, on Ooh. that box. What the also a tennis court. Asta, Uncle Garden King Basque. Or the Noble King Basque. Oh no. Okay, so we have to get the Infinity Stones. Alright. Yeah, we have to get the stones before they do, but I feel like if we get the stones before they do, then they're just going to take them from us, so... <laughs> the special shot. <laughs> okay, so we have to learn how to do a special shot by facing Hologram Mario in a game of tennis. Whoa, okay, that's motion control. It's weird. Uh, alright. Okay, so it breaks their racket, and they're not allowed to just use another one? Really? Is that how tennis works? If you break your opponent's racket, you win? Seriously? Hmm. that. Okay, so I can do slow-mo, like in the Matrix. So can I use that all the time? Oh, I misunderstood what was happening. I'm pressing the R button, but it's not, not doing anything. Like that. There we go. Alright. That's annoying. Okay, and 
energy. Alright, that makes sense, I guess. Energy boost, grad kills, and change out of charge shot. Max charge shot. Okay, how do I do that? Fantastic. Okay, a trick shot. Um. Okay. All right. Tilt right stick. What the heck? Oh, I see. That's weird. <laughs> I guess it works, sorta. What a wonderful trick shot. Okay, special shot. You need to change my entire match. Uh, all right. Okay, let press L for a special shot. Well, it's maxed out, so. Um, what do I do? That? Alright. So it's a little wall kick thing. That was too early, apparently. Alright. I'm confused. <laughs> Mesmerizing. Okay, so... We gotta go get the five sacred stones, which are hidden in classic Mario locales. The the, the forest, the, the ghost house, the ice world, the beach world, and the lava world. <laughs> Subtle. Alright, well, I guess that's our quest. Yep. Go to the forest first, that's the only one that's accessible. <laughs> Yay, I unlocked a new court. How exciting. Alright, so I guess I have to go this way. Reach the forest. Do I have to play tennis with that piranha plant? No! I have to play it with Donkey Kong. to prove our strength by playing tennis, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Good thing it's a tennis court in the forest. Get some uh, bitty buds in it. Maybe I could just play regular tennis instead of breaking their racket. Sounds like that's cheating, honestly. We need multiple games to beat this Change one. Card. Yeah, okay. And DK's gonna serve this time, yeah.
Piranha Plants always spit towards you, which doesn't seem fair. That way, yeah. Okay, perfect. I don't know how many games I'm supposed to do here. It's not really indicating. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, back in. Change card. Okie doke. Mm, let's see if I can figure out how defense works at all. <laughs> I've already forgotten which button you're supposed to press to do the special thing. Really, that wasn't it. Um, it's my super bar has got drained for some reason. Yeah, it did. Okay. Understand how that's supposed to work. <laughs> Green point. Green point. Get it. I don't get it. Tiebreaker. <sighs> well, I'm serving, so I'm gonna win. One zero. I'm kind of confused as to what's going on at this point, because it's scoring us differently. I don't really understand why. Well, I want a star shot. I don't know what that means. Doesn't mean the game's over. <laughs> What just happened? I think I accidentally nudged the right stick and it made me do that trick shot thing. Three, two. Did it again. I'm really confused. <laughs> scoring it like this now, it doesn't make sense to me. Four, three. And how are you supposed to block those? <laughs> the 
slow mo button doesn't work unless you press it after they've fired, and there's not enough time. I don't understand this game. <laughs> oh, I have. Five, three, what are we trying to get to? It's five three. That that doesn't seem normal. Gonna keep going forever? Is this like a glitch? Or... Match point. I'm confused. Okay, match point. Very confusing. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I get experience. Alright. I mean, it's. It is a role, it is a role playing game. I guess. I don't know. Like, the, the role playing elements in the um, GB, GB Game Boy Color one were different. Rather than. I mean, I don't remember it very well. It might have been similar. <laughs> it didn't have this kind of world map. It was more like in a Pokemon game where you actually, like, you're walking on the overworld using a grid. We can go this way. That's a practice score. If you want to go this way. I'm actually going to fight a piranha plant now, right? Oh no, piranha plant territory. Come on. I'm going to defeat 30 piranha plants within the time limit. Okay. How do we do that? I'll hit the fireballs back at them. Okay. Rackets are great because you're collecting fireballs with them. It's not really meant for that kind of thing. Sad Mario is. Well, it's yeah. a bunch of experience. <laughs> All right. Yes, I retry. I'm out of brackets now, aren't I? Oh no, I have another one. Okay. I'm 
pretty sure piranha plants don't make that noise when they spit in order to they come really weird. Play this properly. It. It's like, it wants you to press the button early so you can charge up your shots, but if you press the button early on a power shot, you, you die. What were they thinking? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I don't know if this is worth doing, because it only hits back one ball at a time, but whatever. <laughs> regular ones anyway. Kill the kill the food kill the piranha plants with the regular ones if you want. This isn't very well designed. <laughs> That was less than fantastic, in my opinion. Um, nearly get another level, which is kind of cool. 
um, the ground a bit of experience up there. I don't know why the Piranha Plants are making that noise so much. They do not make that noise in other games. It just doesn't sound right. Um, I guess someone go this way? Yeah, probably this way. I guess there's a boss battle. And a time limit. This is probably going to be annoying. Oh, it's Baby Piranha! I guess that makes sense. What do I do? Um, okay, so I was trying to volley the ball back at him, but... Missed, I lost time. All right. We're we trying to get it past him. We're just hit him with it. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a little health bar. Right? Okay. I see. Uh, but but he's back now. So I've hit that exact spot. Oh, I think I'm into his zone shot. Okay. There we go, okay, that makes sense. Sort of. I would probably just ground pound his belly like a sunshine. That was fun. I think using the trick shot to dodge might be something you're supposed to do, but just running seems to work fine. So, whatever. do a trick shot jump to get over that last one. Alright. Yeah. Mario, what are you doing? You're supposed to hit the ball with your racket. That tennis works. It's broken. Oh no. At least it leveled up a little bit. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm interested in purchasing this. Um I guess it's kinda cool. But yeah, I'm not I'm not interested. I'm glad they put out a demo so I could tell it I didn't like it. This is kind of a cool idea for a boss battle. I mean, playing tennis with a boss is a pretty popular concept. But doing it this way really is a little weird. I 
don't get it. The, the timing for a regular shot is you should press it, press it a bit early so that you can charge up your shot, but the timing for a power shot is if you do that, you die. I don't understand why they would have designed it that way. It doesn't make sense. Like, did they know that they'd put those two types of shots in the game that require absolutely opposite timing ruling? Because it's, it's just nonsense. shot so that I don't take any damage. Like this. Because he still, still takes a bit of damage and I can just keep doing that. comments um does it make sense to dodge shots so that you don't break your racket because it really would surprise me if that was how tennis is played because that's how this version of tennis is played Underwhelming death animation. <laughs> well, I guess we got the first infinity stone, so that's cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, I assume that's what's in that chest. It might be something else. <sighs> can I can I see it? Am I allowed to look at it? Come on. This is so weird. Do they not bother to model the, the power stone so I'm not allowed to see it? Mm, whatever. So I don't understand the point of having this world map when it's so linear. Like, there's a couple of side paths like this one, but you still have to do everything in order. This game is weird. Yeah, I don't really particularly like it. Um, you can probably tell from how I've been reacting so far. I can't do anything at the stadium, it's not like it. And yeah, I, w I probably wouldn't recommend it. You could give it a try during the trial, you might like it better than me, but I, I don't like it. Maybe the other modes are better, I'll have a quick look. I got dry bones. 
I guess I unlocked the character for, for baiting them in battle or something. Why do I have Dry Bowser already? I haven't even seen, seen her in the game yet. She shouldn't be out yet. Alright, so we've got Adventure. Uh, doubles class. Tournament. Okay, I see. All right. And then there's a co-op challenge. Free play mode. Ring shot swing mode. Okay, so this is basically Wii Sports Tennis, I think. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's basically Wii Sports Tennis by the looks of things. Uh, let's play as someone cute. Pauline's in the game? Oh, that's adorable. Badetta! <sighs> My name's Badetta. God's sake. Alright, I'm gonna play Let's give this a try. basically Wii Sports Tennis rather than, you know, like a, a full-blown tennis game, which is a nice thing to include because that game was so very popular. Oh, babe. Oh, there she is. Oh, I love you, Pauline. Oh, what an icon. Oh, gross. It's mine. <laughs> Misogyny. I'm trying to skip the replay. There we go. So yeah, it's basically the same thing as Wii Sports Tennis. I imagine you can do some more kinds of swings and stuff because the Joy-Cons are much more sensitive for different kinds of motion than the Wiimote, but otherwise basically the same. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong with the timing, by the way. This is probably the most appealing part of the game because Wii Sports Tennis was very good, despite being very, very simple. the blue section. Yeah, you can actually sense the way you're, the direction you swing the racket. Unlike in Wii Sports, where it was just based on timing to determine that sort of thing. Uh, Which is cool. Uh, it also thinks it's out when you're clearly in the blue section, so... I, I don't know how they think tennis works. Out. Uh, game receiver. This is transmisogyny. Change court. Fifteen 
kind of works, I guess. Drop shot. <laughs> Out. Hmm. Forty, thirty. Match point. Also, unlike the railway sports, you can't just shake your controller on this screen to do random swinging all over the place, which is disappointing. I can change the rules. Can make it more fun. Wait, what? You can challenge the judgment and rather a ball to bounce right along the lines in or out? How? So that's a uh, swing mode. I guess I'll have a quick look at free play as well. I assume this is basically the same thing as the um, movie Let's we were looking go. at, as um adventure mode, the same sort of gameplay, but with configurable stadia and stuff. Same gameplay as before, except I can play through Rosalina instead of Mario, so it's way better. That was a bad move, Rosalina. Why did you do that? Huh. I don't know how to use trick shots. <laughs> oh my god. Very impressive. Heck yeah.
Alright, so yeah, that's the same same gameplay as Adventure Mode, which means it still has the annoying racket breaking mechanic, which I hate. Um, but you get to play as Rosalita, so it's better. Um, well, you can switch off certain gyroscope controls, so that's good. Uh, I might default it to Miles, considering the region I have things set to. Okay, so it's customizable, so that's good. <sighs> um, so yeah, um, I don't think I'd, I don't think I would recommend this as a as a like full blown tennis game because I don't like the mechanics for power shots and charge shots, and they, they just they just con seem to contradict each other because a charge shot you do by pressing the button early, and a power shot if you press the button early you die. I've said that before. But it still frustrates me. Um, I, I, I'm not a fan of dying. <laughs> anyway, um, I think the swing mode looks pretty cool. Um, because it's basically Wii Sports Tennis, but with more characters and more functionality and using Joy-Cons. So, you know, you, you're gonna have more of them to begin with because you always have at least two Joy-Cons. So I think that's a good feature. Um, and I recommend that. Uh, I don't like the adventure mode. <laughs> so I'm not sure I'd want to buy this. Uh, I'll think about it. I probably don't want to buy this based on what I've seen here. Um, I just, I don't think it's very fun in the adventure mode because it encourages you to press the button early and then it kills you for doing that and that just... I don't understand why they would have designed it that way, because that's terrible. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. <sighs> but apart from that, I guess that's that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah.